In this video, I want to show you how you can bring your designs in Figma into code by using Figma Make and Figma MCP connected to Cursor. We'll compare both results made in Figma Make and in Cursor. Uh, we'll look at the simple example with just designing a card and something more complex like a dashboard. By the end of the video, you will understand the differences in of these two solutions, uh, how Figma Make works and uh, Cursor, and uh, I hope you will understand which one is better for you and which one uh, you will be using for your projects. Hi, my name is Sergey, and welcome to my channel. And now let's start. All right, so I have my file open. Uh, here we're going to be using this hotel card. Uh, it's a really simple one, but it has a lot of different features like uh, the type of the hotel, the category of the hotel, the name, the stars. Uh, we have um, the discount price. Uh, we have some icons here uh, and um, the meal type and how many nights um, the person will have for this price. So um, the important thing is that you should see that I have set up everything in variables. This is super important. As you can see, I'm using variables for all the uh, numbers. So basically for the radiuses, for uh, gaps uh, over here, you see for the uh, gaps inside of the out layout uh, and for the paddings. Uh, one more important thing is that we have to use outer layouts everywhere. Um, we have to try to use them everywhere. For example, in this case, I'm using actually a, um, a position absolute because I wanted to have it like in the center of uh, just a little bit off the center um, of the picture of the top picture. And uh, this thing on the bottom is also in absolute. We'll see how it's going to work. Actually, mm, uh, I'm just thinking right now that I could have used auto layout for this as well. But let's try to see how it's going to work uh, with the absolute positioning. Um, the rest is made with auto layouts and is using uh, variables everywhere where I can. Uh, and uh, also I'm using color design tokens. Uh, they're also in variables. More about how to use and how to set up design tokens and how to use variables and create your own design system. You can watch another video on my channel. The link will be somewhere on top right now. All right, so basically this is uh, the test design that we're going to be using. Uh, right now we want to send it to Figma Make and let's see how it's going to work. So basically I select the frame where I have my design and I go right here in the bottom and I click to send hotel card. Well, basically this is the name of my frame to Figma Make. So now we're opening um, the uh, the Figma Make interface. Uh, here you can see that it added sort of like a, a file here. And now I need to describe what I want to do with this design. And I have it uh, already saved. Basically, I want to create a design layout from my Figma file using HTML and CSS, use exact variables, colors, dimensions from the file. So I just copy this and paste it to my Figma make and I press run. Uh, here we can see that Figma make is thinking, the process is going, but for now let's go back to my file and let's set up an MCP server so we can try to do the same exact thing in a uh, cursor. Uh, first of all, what you need to do, you need to go to settings and check that you have MCP server enabled. So here it is, enable desktop MCP server. Currently I'm using a Figma app, not a browser. Um, next, uh, you need to open your cursor. So here's my cursor opened. Um, I already opened the file the folder. So basically you see it's empty, nothing is inside. And now I need to go to settings. And in settings, I need to find tools and MCP. Here I have already installed MCP server for Figma, but if you don't have that yet, you just click here, new MCP server, and you need to paste this code to this uh, window in order to enable the MCP server, uh, Figma MCP in cursor. Uh, I will leave 
the link to um, a detailed uh, tutorial and instructions how to do that uh, official from Figma in the description. So you can just check it out and copy it from there. Uh, well, after you paste the code and uh, you just click enable and you'll wait, I don't know, maybe a couple of seconds and it will um, install it. So basically it, you see there's like a green light here um, says that it's installed. Okay, so that's it. This is it and uh, I close it. So now what I wanna do, I need to open a new chat. So basically I click here, toggle this panel and here I have new chat and what I do, I just paste my prompt here, the same one as I used in Figma Make. The only thing is that I need to go back to Figma and in Figma, I need to select the frame with my design and just go to share and copy the link to it. The important thing is that I need to have it opened and I need to have it selected. Just go to cursor, back to cursor, and here I wanna paste the link to the file. And I press run or send. Now let's check, everything should work fine. Uh, it's planning next moves. And let's wait, what's gonna happen? You see, it runs the MCP, I need to run it. So basically I click yes or run. Um, and you can see that I need to allow cursor to do some updates and to create files like uh, style CSS and all that stuff. So basically it has the screenshot. So it shows the, the screenshot of the file here. And now it tells me what it is doing. So it's creating an index HTML and CSS file HTML file is basically the structure, is the code of your layout. So it, it tells the browser how the elements are set up there. And CSS file is basically the styling, the styles of what you have in your design. So these are the colors, typography, and all that stuff. Um, we're not applying any JS here. We're not gonna have it interactive for now, but we can do it later, of course. So let's go back to Figma. Let's go back to Figma Make and see what happened here. All right, so uh, Figma Make already finished and we can see that it converted to HTML. Well, it looks fine, basically. It's, it looks almost the same. I see some of the uh, fonts are wrong but uh, the rest is fine. This this part, I don't like how it looks, but I guess this is the problem with the uh, with fonts. And uh, it doesn't, it didn't um, make this shadow, but it looks pretty good. And in cursor, we need to keep all. So everything is ready, basically. And we just need to launch um, HTML, oh, the index HTML file. So basically what I can uh, look at, I can open index.html and I can see all the information here that I got from uh, my Figma file and the styles are all set up here. And what I'm interested in, I'm interested in uh, typography. I wanna see, did it include the correct uh, font face? Um, because as we could see from Figma make, there was some problem there. Yeah, it included Montserrat. Uh, this is the font face I used. And let's check it out how it looks in the browser. And this is what I got from my um, from cursor. Basically, it looks exactly the same. I love the result. I, I see that it didn't include the shadow and uh, some things happened to the icons. You see they're kind of like shrinked a little bit, but um, the most important thing to know that I'm using a free version of cursor. So this is the result from the free version. Uh, I'm sure if you use uh, the pro plan, uh, you may get a better results. But here we can see that um, it didn't include the um, arrows like right and left, but actually I can like feel them <laughs> because my cursor changes. 
I can tell cursor that we need to fix uh, the slider because uh, it lost uh, the arrows. So I'm telling him that this fix the slider arrows I'm missing. Oh, actually arrow. Well, I hope it's going to be fine. Uh, let's keep all. And now we go back to um, our file and let's yeah, reload it. And you can see it added arrows. Um, the left one looks right, but this is just, you know, like a thing that we can change like a few seconds. Basically, we need to tell them like to make it a little left. So this was a really easy example of the small uh, hotel card. Let's try to do something more complicated. And let's look uh, at this um, app that I'm working on right now. Uh, this is the app uh, with like a huge dashboard. Uh, and let's try to make it in Figma Make. So basically, I select it again and I go to um, this icon over here with the star and I again send it to my Figma make and I paste the same the same prompt oops I need to copy it so I paste the same prompt here and let's run uh, and now I want to do the same thing with cursor so here I open my cursor with the new file it's called dashboard and now I need to paste the link to this layout. So I press copy link. Uh, I have my frame selected. I go back to cursor and I paste the link to it. And I press run. Let's go back to Figma to see what's going on there. And we can see the result. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We can see the results. It's not interactive, but we can uh, preview. Yep, uh, so it looks looks fine. Yeah, the result is really good. You see, this thing is not uh, doesn't fill the height, and there's a problem over here with the cards. I don't know why, but it should be all in auto layouts. Yeah. Oh, it's fixed probably because, yeah, you see, that was my mistake. I need to make it fill. So that's why. Yeah, it should be fill. All right. But in any case, the result is pretty good. Um, the only thing is that I need to add. I want to have this as overlay when I click on one of these cards. So I copy this thing. So I just command C, press command C. I go back to my uh, widget and uh, here I paste it. You see it pastes like an image and uh, I will tell them to open it and overlay when I click on the card. All right, so let's try to do this. Uh, so basically I tell them that open this overlay from right to left when I click on social media cards. And now let's go back to Courser and see what's going on there. Oh, here I need to um, run uh, all the prompts here. All right, so, so this is the result from Figma. Mm, and the most important thing is that uh, when I click here, yeah, you see it opens the, the dashboards, uh, but it opens them on the full screen. Uh, we can fix it with the prompt. And uh, I guess, yeah, I can close it. Nice. So it understood that if I click here, it will close the um, this overlay. This is really good. The coolest thing is that when I click on code, we can see that this layout is fully coded. So we have the code here. We have like an app. Uh, and we can pass this to a developer. Or we can even... Um, launch this as our own app if we want to go even further connect it to like superbase or something like that because figma allows to connect us to superbase uh, and to github and even we can even post it on the domain um, currently uh, it supports figma.site but i guess you can connect your domain as well if you want to so basically the cool thing is that you can design your web app 
and post it on the domain right away. So basically your website is going to be ready or your app is going to be ready uh, for using um, online. Now let's go back to cursor and see what's happening here. Well, it's ready. Let's launch the app. Yep. And now we get the results. Well, I guess this time the cursor uh, didn't do a better job than Figma make. Um, the only thing I like here is that uh, this part on the left is full height. Uh, but other than that, we have lots of problems here. We lost some of the icons. Uh, and uh, this thing is not a full um, full width. So you can see that the results that we're getting with some small uh, designs are pretty easy and pretty good. Uh, both Figma Make and uh, Cursor uh, did a good job. But the important thing is to understand that uh, Figma uh, basically makes a screenshot of your design and applies, um, like it looks at the screenshot and makes the layout basically from this from zero. But on the other hand, when you use Figma MCP with cursor, cursor uh, gets access to the file and understands all the variables, all the colors and all the outer layouts and stuff like that. So basically in cursor, you will get a better result. Uh, and I've tested a lot of things, um, like I tested really complicated uh, designs uh, and Figma uh, didn't work with them at all. So this is two ways how you can bring your designs to code and make them live using Figma Make or using Figma MCP server connected to cursor. Uh, you can also connect it to Claude, but I'm just uh, used to cursor more. Uh, in any case, um, these are the ways uh, how you can work uh, with your designs and to take them to the next level. You can create prototypes uh, or you can um, pass this to a developer to create a real life website or to, uh, to create a web app. In any case, I hope you liked this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video if you like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.